Hey guys, what is up? In this video, I'm going to take you through a collection of six of my vending machines. We're gonna break down each location, we're gonna purchase product for each location, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a total gross amount and a total net amount of what we actually made. Let's get right into this. All right guys, so our first stop's gonna be our Subaru dealership. Pretty pumped about this. this is one of our better locations i think this is probably our second best location when it comes to finance and uh, we have a credit card reader on the soda machine not the snack machine yet but the snack machine is mdb and does not require an upgrade for a credit card reader so i'm looking forward to getting a credit card reader on this machine uh, we're going to start with a snack machine. You guys can see that uh, we actually need to do a hardcore refill on this machine. We've got a lot of products doubled up, which means that uh, it really needs really needs to get uh, a couple of products changed out. Um, I can't remember, do we start with bills or coins? Uh, I'm going to grab some coins that have just fallen over. You know, I really need to clean all the bottom of... I think that's going to be a goal I have, cleaning all the bottoms of my machines. <laughs> Alright, so we got a decent amount of change there. I love pulling the stacks out of this, because there's always a lot. <laughs> Look at that stack. That's got to be at least 100 bucks. That's awesome. I get so excited. Just, see, I, I do this all the time. I still get wicked excited watching my own videos. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing in the world. We're gonna grab our bags back. We're gonna lock the machine back up. Um, for anyone who, who is curious, um, I've noticed I should probably mention this. I own these machines that I am uh, servicing. <laughs> and uh, we stocked these machines or uh, filled up the stuff that really needed to be filled up prior to filming this. It all happens in one shebang. So we're gonna open this guy up and collect from here. I like this one because it accepts ones and fives. I need to get uh, I need to get ones and fives in the snack machine too. There we go. Get it all open up. There it is. So this machine is soon going to be switching to cans. Um, bottles are starting to get a little bit too expensive and the margins are low they just take up too much space gotta to visit too often just gonna throw that in there bam right there's got to be another hundred bucks or at least close to a hundred bucks that's a really decent collection overall i think this is i think this is one week two weeks maybe but uh, we're gonna stop visiting so frequently. Uh, we're gonna start visiting, now that we know how to keep up with the cash systems, we're gonna start visiting when the machine tells me it has $250, or somewhere in between $200 and $250. And that'll be the point that we go down and visit the location. All right, let's head back to the house and count some money. Let's count some money. Alright guys, so let's take a look here. We got 3720 in coins, 15 in 566, or 166 in ones. That brings us out to about 21820. I'm pretty stoked about this, although we want to try to push it out further. We want to be collecting in between four and five hundred dollars on a two machine location. So I want to collect $250 per machine. That's what I want to get to. In order to create or in order to get to that goal, the credit card readers are going to help a lot. So we're going to be ordering a lot of credit card readers here real soon. All right. So I realize that it's difficult to read some of this with a GoPro. Uh, so obviously we spent twenty-three sixty-three on gas. We spent one hundred and 
9287 on product. And this product, we're using the money from, uh, we're using the money from Claremont Subaru to purchase product for this location, which is our uh, tire warehouse locate one of our tire warehouse locations. Um, I really think I should probably like inform you guys. This video was shot over the course of a couple of days uh, because I have a full time job and I have to get my daughter back and forth to school and stuff like that. Um, I have switched things out and I'm servicing one machine at a time or one location at a time. This is allowing me to keep a baseline of product in the van. And uh, you can see that this has already been filled really well. Uh, behind the multiple different kinds of product, there is actually a line of fresh product. I just line up the old product first so they can buy that first. Usually people see me do it and uh, nobody has, a, no one has voiced a issue with it just yet. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and collect from our coin slot here. I actually just noticed that there was cash in the other bag that I had there and I didn't want to use one that already had cash in it. <laughs> so I can't remember if this is a week or two weeks. I think it's a week. I'm going to go ahead and pull from there. It was actually a slower week too. I think I'd mentioned it before, we're kind of experiencing the calm before the storm here. Uh, all these machines are going to be upgraded very, very soon. I'm really excited. As of yesterday, I ordered credit card readers for all the machines that are currently MDB. Unfortunately, this is not one of those machines. You can tell from the plug that's right there below my hand. That is a 12 pin plug, so it's pre MDB. But you can buy kits for these machines, and I'm going to buy a kit for it. These guys are pretty fond of this machine here. Uh, so we're going to move on now to the soda machine, which I believe at the time of the shooting, shooting this video, I hadn't quite filled up the uh, hadn't quite filled up the lemonade just yet. But I do. I do have to say, with the way I'm doing things now, until I get more locations, oh, excuse me, I just had the hiccup. Until I get more locations, uh, we might be pushing back from daily to every other day, or uh, three times a week, like a, maybe a Monday, Thursday, Saturday thing or something. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do that though because I don't want to clutter the channel with uh, pointless uh, pointless videos that don't perform. And I definitely definitely want to make sure that everything's relevant. You can see this really slow week on this location. Calm before the storm. I'm really excited for when it starts picking up a lot more because we need the money guys. We need the, we need the gross income. I believe between these two machines, we were actually under, a, no, we were over $100. You'll see in the collection, the counting, which is coming up here soon, we're over $100, but we were just barely over $100. And I was not very excited about that. So we're gonna go ahead, close this sucker back up. I wound up coming back to this location and filling up the uh, lemonade just cause it wasn't full and needed to be full. But let's go back and count this location up. All right, guys, we've got Tire Warehouse, West Lebanon. So just for a side note, I have already paid them a 20% gross commission. So this is the remainder after that. I'm not sure the time frame. I think it's a little over a week. All right, guys, so we got 1417 on the coin machine and 74 in cash. This is, I think it's after a week. That gives us 8817 for everything said and done. 
And now we're gonna head out and go get some gas, and then we're going to replace the product that we completely sold out of. I don't think we're gonna replace all of it. I don't think we're gonna be able to replace all of it because we just didn't pull enough off of this location. All right guys, I'll go ahead and read this off to you again. Uh, we're picking up product here. We did not pick up any gas. This is gonna be 68.95. Yeah, 68.95. And then we went to Walmart, got our cans. Uh, we needed a lot of lemonade. And that put us at 18.40. That GoPro doesn't do for, maybe I can, I think I can actually touch to focus on that GoPro and I should probably do that. So we are now at our salsa bottling plant. Um, prior to us getting here, there was a bill jam in this specific machine. You can see that is not a very good collection at all. But you guys will wait until we get over to the snack machine. Oh man, it completely blew my mind. Also on this machine, look at this. Just, just watch how much change goes into this. Look at it all. Yeah, how much <laughs> I'm having trouble holding it up. <laughs> Look at all that change. This is nuts. And then this is where it really goes nuts. This is where you really see all of it. Oh man. Here it comes. Here it comes. This I've never seen a bill acceptor quite as full as this one. Look at all that cash. Look at <laughs> holy crap. That is a ridiculous amount of cash right there. That's like, I was squeezing that as hard as I possibly could. That was my phone, not yours, just so you know. Oh my gosh, here we go. I gotta turn it down. Sorry about that, guys. I'm really bad with that. All right, guys, this is a collection from our salsa bottling plant. Uh, we had a bit of an issue there where uh, the bill acceptor got jammed up with a dollar. Unfortunately, I didn't know about it. it. Happened on Monday. Today is Thursday, so we went a couple days without any sort of bills going in there. But what everyone was doing is they were putting bills into the snack machine and getting coins out so they could purchase from the soda machine. I uh, informed everyone to call me if there's ever an issue like that again, and uh, hopefully, hopefully they will. They probably won't, but hopefully they will. And we're just gonna pull this out. And we're gonna count everything. Got some wonderful stacks of cash. We have a silly amount of coinage here. All right, let's do this. So that bill jam did affect our sales negatively. It looks like we have 6105 and change. We have two 100s, 12, 70 and fives, giving us 343.05 in one week. Uh, this is our gross. We still have to go out and purchase product and we still have to go out and put gas in the vehicle. So we'll go get that done now. All right guys, I wanna quickly count out the uh expenses here from this location we're coming up and we're almost at the end of here so we got uh, 3430 from the gas pump and then we used up quite a bit of product here we're at 120.73 on that did we go yeah we went to walmart after that and we got some soda to replace the soda we bought and that is gonna put us at 37.72. All right guys, I'm gonna go over all the... Uh... All right guys, let's talk about the total gross and total net amount. So our total gross for all the machines together was 
and 42 cents. Our total net for all locations, because we're trying to stock up all the machines all the way, was way lower than what it would normally be. But our total net overall was 152.84. Now I'm gonna break that down for you real quick. The Subaru dealership, 218.20, gross. After purchasing product, we had $1.80 left. The tire warehouse location, 88.17, Gross. After purchasing product, we had 82 cents left. The salsa bottling plant, 343.05 gross. After purchasing product, 150.32. In the future, in future collections, all the machines are gonna be full and we're not gonna have to purchase nearly as much product. So you're gonna see our profit margins go up really, really fast because we're gonna have credit card readers on all the machines, we're gonna know when to visit them, we're not gonna guess when to visit them, and uh, we're gonna see a lot of advances. Bear Squad, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I really do appreciate it. Please click on a video here and subscribe there. Peace.